Okay guys, so on my way to do my two miles in 30 minutes or less, it usually takes me about 23 minutes to do two miles. So I'm out here, me and God, me and my angels, I'm trying to walk my hips and butt down. That's where I seem to carry it. And hey guys, let's all be healthy. At least try to get um, some walks in a mile a day or three miles every other day. Do like nine a week. Set yourself a goal. We got to be healthy. Too much diabetes and heart problems going around here. So I'm going to go ahead and tune you guys out. And I'll come back to you later because I have to cross over some busy intersections. Bye. Okay. I crossed the big old street. Had to run a little bit. Okay. So, I want to tell you guys that um, being healthy, being prayerful, reading God's word, having that personal time with him should consist of your day. Prayer time, God's word, intimacy with God, no interruptions, 30 minutes to an hour is a necessity every day. We can't make it. If you care about going to heaven, to that promise that God has for us, then you should do that. If healthy, if you plan on being healthy, disease-free, then come on, guys. Let's stop eating like there's no tomorrow. I had to do that because me and Mexican food, we're just lovers. <laughs> so I'm working on that. I'm not fat, but I can stand to trim down my butt and my hips. Men like it, but it's not healthy. And it has to go. It weighs me down. So, I'm out walking two miles in 23 minutes. So I take my miles, try to walk at least three miles three times a week, which will equivalent to nine miles by the end of Saturday evening. You guys should try it. Get you some phones, some earplugs. I don't use earplugs outside because it's not safe because people are weird these days. But you can walk and pray. I do that sometimes. Or you can um, talk on your phone. Get this um, neat app called Runtastic. I get the one to track my walking. So it will let me know and I'll have a record of it. So that's what I'm doing. Out here walking. And I'm bundled up because I don't want to be sick. The weather today in Illinois and Chicagoland area is you do need a jacket. Um, my scarf is because I don't want to be cold. And it's kind of windy and chilly as you can see my hair is blowing, my scarf is blowing. And um, I'm trying to stay, I'm claiming, not trying, that I will be not sick this fall or winter. I'm going to stay bundled up. Even if the weather fools us and it's 80 degrees tomorrow, I will be bundled up. Having my cool jacket by Marmot that my hubby bought, he bought me in Hawaii. I got the headband and he has the hat. These jackets can stand in the 30 degree temperature. They're very warm, very nice fitting that you know how some coats and stuff they wear you down they make you sweat no marmot very good product 
and I'm gonna buy more. <sighs> so I'm about to tune you guys off because I need to pay attention to my walking. I think I've gotten a little bit slower because I'm trying to log to you guys. But all I can say is, you guys, stay blessed. Keep God first in your life. Don't give up. When you feel weak, call on God. Feed yourself His Word. Even if it's a scripture, read His Word. Talk to God. He's listening. And He's there for us. And I just want you guys to know that um, I love you. Truly, I do. And I guess some of you may say, you don't even know us. Well, I love everybody. If you're in love with God, you love everything about Him. I love people. Good or bad, I pray for the bad that they make the changes and live life according to the way that God wanted us to. So, I love you and I'll chat with you guys later. God bless.